too should just be yourself right now you're someone else you used to call welcome back to my channel lovely so today's um video is not a tutorial it's actually a review and the review is on ColourPop. um the only things that i have from there from them are uh lip stains which i'm going to be reviewing um, I haven't tried any of their other products as far as eyeshadows or their highlighters or anything, so I will definitely be ordering some in the future and reviewing those, but for now we're going to be talking about their lip stains. So I got five and the deal was, I think it was five for $30 even, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I grabbed some and the colors that I grabbed were... LAX Midi Trap Bumble and Tool. So I got two kind of dark ones for because fall's coming out, so you know me. I had to get some fall colors. So these two I consider fall colors, the so Tool and LAX. And then as far as the Midi and Trap are kind of pink ones, kind of. And I will be uh, swatching them on my hand in a bit so you can see the colors. And then Bumble is just kind of a. Uh, Kind of a reddish pinkish color. I mean, I like it. So their packaging, I just got it in a in a bag. Um, I didn't get the box. Uh, I know a lot of people get boxes sometimes, and I think that's when you order uh, eyeshadows and other stuff like that too. So as far as this, it was just in a package, and um, the they send you a little note, which I thought was really cute because they say like your they put like your name and they put dear or whatever. And then they just write you a cute little message. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then also, um, the I, I thought I had the boxes to these. I'm pretty sure that I kept one. But I think I threw them out. Because I was going to show you the packaging. I really liked it. But it was just a white container. And then ColourPop was in kind of like glitter text. And then like it told you the color on the end of it. So pretty basic, I guess. But I mean, it was kind of cute. So anyways, um, as far as this go as far as the um, container for the lip stain itself um, it's pretty just simple silver here and then the color um, they did have that glitter glitter text on it but it's smudged off pretty easily which I mean if it doesn't really matter it's not like I you need the glitter uh, text on there but I thought it was pretty cool actually you can see it on this one kind of you can kind of see it. It just has color pop. But anyways, um, I'll first I'll um, swatch them on my hand, and then I will go into detail about what I think about these lip stains. So this one is LAX. This is the darkest one I got out of all of them, and it's like a burgundy uh, wine color. I really like it. I mean, especially for fall, I think it's perfect. And then the and I think and the other one is tool and I feel like this one is uh kind of this I mean not the same actually is this yeah I feel like this is just like a, a shade kind of lighter than LAX it's not as dark but I mean it's like I said it's perfect for fall and then Bumble like I said is a pinkish kind of orangey red tint color not tint and so that's bumble and then tra I think this is trap yeah trap so that's trap you can see and then midi So you can see Trap is kind of a little darker, more mauve color, and then Midi is just like a really light pink, which I like. It's not too pinkish, but it's not too, like, you can see it, so I liked it. As far as these five, my favorites are Midi and LAX. I like the other ones too, but I mean, I feel like I wear these uh, more. Um, so the product itself, the lip stains... It has its pros and cons. I'm not completely 100% sold on the lip stains, but I mean, I did like them, and for the price of it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, 
The pros about it are when you apply it, it dries up really quickly, which I mean can be a pro and con depending on how you look at it. Um, for me, I kind of liked it um, that it dried up real quick so then I don't have to sit there and wait for it to dry up. But um, after it dries, it's really, really matte um, and you actually have to like I feel like you have to exfoliate your lips before you put this product on because if you don't it's gonna settle into your creases and it's just gonna look like you have really dry lips and so I try to every time I'm gonna use a lip stain um, well the ColourPop lip stains I uh, exfoliate my lips and I make sure that they're nice and soft and moisturized so for when I use this it doesn't settle into the creases of my lips now also when I apply these and it dries, I feel like there's nothing there. It's really lightweight, um, the liquid, the formula, and that's something I really like about them. Um, as far as the cons, um, you can't, when you're out and about and you're eating or it comes off or whatever and you want to reapply, you can't. I feel like you need to take the whole thing off of your lips and redo it all over again. Because if you keep applying and applying, it's just going to get thicker and thicker and sometimes it kind of rubs off and creates these little like uh, fuzzes, fuzz thingies and it just, it, I just don't like it. So I mean that is something that I don't like about it that you can't reapply, it just feels too heavy. Um, also it just, sometimes I feel like my lips are really dry when I apply this, like I feel like it's just... Even if I exfoliate them and I moisturize them, I just feel like after I put it on, my lips feel really dry. So, I mean, like I said, it does have its pros and cons. I do like them. I just, I would rather use my my Kat Von D um, lip stains or my Sephora brand lip stains because I feel like those work way better. But that's just my opinion. I'm not being paid to say anything good about them. So, um, like I said, yeah, it does have its pros and cons. Um, and, like, you can already tell that it dried up, like, this one's still kind of drying up, but yeah, those are already dry. I'm, I don't want to say that I'm going to be purchasing any more of their lip stains. I might. There are other colors that I really liked. I just don't like that it just rubs off. And it comes off easily, especially when you eat. As far as the Kat Von D and the Sephora brand, I feel like those last a lot longer when I'm eating than ColourPop does. So, I mean, I'm not sure if I will be purchasing any more in the future. As far as their other products, I definitely want to try out their eyeshadows. I've heard really good things about them. But, yeah, so that is pretty much it, guys. Um, and, yeah, I hope this was informative and this helped you guys if you guys are... Um, wondering about ColourPop or if you were wanting to purchase them um you know a lot of other people might feel different about it maybe my lips are just kind of different but this is just what I think so I'll see you guys in my next video